CUNY has changed my life, has given my life a brand new start. If I can stand today as a tenant organizer, as a nurse, as your own state assembly sitting in District 57, it's because CUNY made that possible. Education, we know, is the number one vehicle out of poverty. When you talk about that investment, you talk about changing people's lives. We are organizing around a legislative platform called the New Deal for CUNY. It prioritizes driving resources into the university for more professional staff to support students, more full-time faculty, pay parity for our adjunct faculty, and more resources for our buildings and our physical infrastructure so students have a decent place to learn. I am so inspired by what we have built here together as a coalition united to say that our public universities demand more. I want you to contact your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your cousins, your neighbors, your friends, and ask them to call their legislators. It is amazing to see so many CUNY students, alumni, faculty, community members, future CUNY students, people from labor. This is the broadest coalition I have ever worked with. A new deal for CUNY. If the governor meets that call, it means that she puts an additional $538 million into this year's budget for CUNY's operations. If we have this opportunity to get the funding we need for SUNY and CUNY, Will we grab this opportunity and get it done this year? Will we? Yeah. Because it is about bringing back hope. It is about bringing back dreams for young people and for our communities. CUNY is now the largest public university system in the country. It is serving half a million students and 77% of them are people of color. We do not need CUNY to be affordable. We need it to be free. Students, faculty, staff, unite. Fight, fight, fight. Students, faculty, staff, unite.